This, this edition of BBTV is sponsored by the Sega Genesis. It definitely did what Nintendo didn't. Until Nintendo came out with the N64. That was a true game changer. Enjoy the show! Right Beat Radio. What's up, everybody? It's me, Bryson Booker. Welcome to this Friday's video. Wanted to do something different again. I always like doing things different. Gives me more subscribers, you know. So, here we go. Today I'm going to do, like, a little tour slash review of each of my movie TV show posters. I got a couple, actually. Um, you've probably seen some of them around the room as I've been doing these different reviews. And <coughs> Excuse me. Doing these different reviews, you've probably seen some of them. But this is like an in-depth tour of all of them. So I'll go through all of them. Starting with the biggest one I got and the latest one that I got last Thursday. Check this out. This is an original 1981 from a theater. This is from the Rialto Square Theater in Joliet. This is Indiana Jones, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Original movie poster. Still in the plastic. Indiana Jones, the new hero from the creators of Jaws and Star Wars. Honestly, no, obviously we know that's Steven Spielberg who did this along with George Lucas. Original 1981 movie poster. Pretty cool. This one is still in the package. It's posterized like the cardboard style. I didn't put it up yet. I hope to put it up. Right now, you got to find some space for it. So there's that one. This one is slightly smaller, and obviously you know what it is. If you saw my uh, opening statement before the intro, you basically knew it has something to do with the Genesis in this review video. And this is it. This is a 1991 advertisement for the Sega Genesis. Now, I kind of got a story on this one, and I'll do this with each of the posters as I go around. I'll tell you what it is, how I got it, and if there's a little story behind it, I'll tell you that too. This one um, was actually an original booklet that came with the original Sega Genesis back in 1991. Now, obviously, my cousin, uh, I found this snooping around one day, and I was like, can I have this? He was like, take it. So, I did, because my cousin had a Genesis. And it wasn't the original, it was the second version of the Genesis, but, I mean, he still had one with Sonic the Hedgehog, just, beyond, just to let you know that. Um, still works, too. Anyway, he, I said, can I have this? He gave it to me, and the booklet that it was in, it was like a little paperback booklet. I turned it into a poster with the Genesis on it. And so this basically has, still in the plastic, because I didn't put it up yet. This basically has the... Original lowered price of the Sega Genesis, which was $149.99. Not bad for a game console back in the day. Nintendo was charging just a slightly a bit more. So that was pretty good to get a console for that much back in the day. And But some of the games that are on the poster, now that I made it one, is Streets of Rage, Dick Tracy, Golden Axe 2, uh, Zoom, Michael Jackson's Moonwalker, and, uh, of course, Sonic the Hedgehog, because that was their mascot back in the day. Can't really see him. There we go. He says some little stuff about the Genesis and all its all of its 16-bit processing. That's basically all they advertised back in the day. They said that, and Genesis does with Nintendo. All they really advertised was their bit processors, but really, did kids really care about that crap? <laughs> And then in the corner, you got a little bitty advertisement for the uh, Sega Game Gear, Sega's, Sega's first portable system that boasts to be have a bigger screen than the Turbo, TurboFX GX or whatever and the Game Boy. 
but really, all of those screens were basically practically the same size in some situations. <laughs> and then you got a little advertisement for Sonic the Hedgehog. This was the opening of the booklet where Sonic was, and then it opened up to reveal this whole big catalog of games. Now, there was an original poster on the back of this, and that was an advertisement for Sega's Toe Jam and Earl. Toe Jam and Earl was an obvious another Genesis game that was released in, I think, around 1991, late 91, 92. It wasn't as popular, but, I mean, you had the picture of them on the back. It kind of sucked, so I didn't get that side posterized. I wanted to decide with the Genesis on it and all the games because it looks awesome. Looks awesome sitting on the wall. So that's what I got. All right, now we're going to take you around the room to all of my other posters that I have. So let's start with The Simpsons. Um, this poster is from 2011. I got it at the Scholastic Book Fair, my eighth grade year. And so, here we go. You got all your main Simpsons characters, Homer, Bart, Lisa, Chief Wiggum, Nelson, Muntz, all those standard Simpson characters. However, this poster, I don't really think this is that good than the 2003 Simpsons poster uh, with every single character from the series from seasons one through nine. And I'm talking about the characters that only appeared for like maybe four seconds. That's on that po Those people are on that poster. This one, however, highlights the main characters, but it's okay. It's not as cool as that other one, though. This one above it is pretty cool with um, the main Simpsons characters. This one is from, the one up top, is from my Season 4 box set. I got a collector's edition Simpsons four, Season 4 box set. And I guess, however, this version came with this little pull-out poster. This one is not cardboard posterized, but it sits on the top of there pretty nicely. This one's a little bit cooler than the one at the bottom because this one has Kang and Kodos on it as well as um, Sideshow Bob. So that's pretty cool. And then you got Reverend Lovejoy. Uh, who else? Lenny. Carl. That one was kind of better than this one, but, you know. And I actually do have the two... I'm going to see if I can get that out. Hold on. Just to show you guys... Here it is. I do have it. It's not posterized. It's still folded up because I need to get it uh, cardboarded. But when I do, this will soon be on my wall. This is the original 2003 poster. It's just mini because it came with a trivia game that I have. But I'm going to get it posterized. Every Simpsons character from seasons 1 through 9. That's a much more awesomer poster than... The 2011 one. Obviously. By the way, that poster came from the Simpsons 2002 trivia game. But let's take a look. Oh, I'm going to show you that one last. Let's take a look at this one over here. This is an original also. Uh, 1992. Now, people kind of get this uh, picture confused with the promo promotions for Space Jam. However, this is not a post promotion for Space Jam, the 1996 movie, that obviously starred Michael Jordan and Bugs Bunny. This is when Michael Jordan had a deal with Warner Brothers in 1992 to advertise his Nike brand Jordan shoes. And so, obviously, this picture includes Bugs Bunny and Michael Jordan... And they're basically standing in a pretty cool position in front of a cool background. And, by the way, I would recommend watching some of those old promos for the Jordan shoes. They're pretty funny. They're pretty clever in Looney Tunes style. So this is a pretty cool picture. It's framed. I actually got this one framed about five years ago. So this is a pretty cool picture. As well as this thing. Which, once again, is about three, four years old. This is a very beautiful picture of Michael Jordan. 
let me get on my bed. It is a big picture. Uh, this actually came from the 2004 Chicago Auto Show. And it was a promotion for the Chevy trucks. But obviously, Chevy got removed. It was at the bottom. I got it removed when I got this framed. Posterized, then framed. Um, but this is a very awesome picture. A very, very rare picture of him making his 1996 game-winning shot for the Bulls, as well as other little tidbits of information, like a timeline, up until 2004, of course, when he was done with the Bulls, um, of Michael Jordan's stats, facts, and other things. This is a very awesome poster. If you can find this poster, get it and frame it, because that, that's awesome. And then we're coming back to my desk here. To reveal my last picture. This one I kind of made myself. I made this one myself. This is not store-bought. I actually made it myself. So, um, okay. So this is a music poster. Um, there are, these are real album covers, people. Um, and the strange story about this, um, when my friend gave me that whole bag of 90 CDs, uh, there were these C CD covers in there, but there were no CDs. So I was like, well, that's basically pointless of keeping them in the bag. So I put them on a cardboard background, put a piece of glass over it. Boom, it's a poster. So I'll show you what I got here. I got Will Smith's Big, Big, uh, Big Willie style from 1997. Brandy's Never Say Never that obviously had to hit. That Boy Is Mine, featuring Monica from 1998. Hanson, Middle of Nowhere, which featured Mbop from 1997. And the Spice Girls, uh, this is not the original album cover for the CD Spice, but this is the album cover for the single Wannabe, obviously by the Spice Girls, 1996. And then in the middle is a pretty cool 90s advertisement for Case Logic. You know, the people that make CD cases. Yeah, I couldn't find another CD to put on here, so <laughs> I just put this little advertisement on here. Because all the, the rest of the CDs had their cases and the C albums themselves. But it's just a nice little album for our promotion for Case Logic. It says uh, the digital crossroad, and it has the CDs floating in the air. Pretty cool. So, that's it. Whoops. That's it. Thanks for watching. Okay, so you're probably wondering about the little art pieces back there. Well, I wasn't going to show you those, but if you insist. You YouTubers are picky. I don't see that much. Okay, so this is what I created myself. Um, this is from second grade, around 2005, no, I'm way off, 07, 06, 07. Um, second grade, I made this, we were doing something with paint, and, uh, this came out to be my result. All the other kids were laughing at me, but I'm like, this is awesome. Looks like a psychedelic 1970s picture with purple and red. It's like there's two lovebirds in the middle. I made that, y'all. That's mine. <laughs> and then this one over here that you normally see in BBTV videos. There you go, camera. What you normally see in some of my videos is my very first art picture. From preschool. 02. 01, 02. So, yeah. This is a big crap, crap, uh, craptacular design that I came up with when I was a kid. <laughs> All it is is color splattered on a piece of paper. But I guess it was so cool that mom decided to frame it. Okay, that is all of my pictures. That I have up in my room. I hope to get I'm hoping to get another movie poster on Monday if the guy brings it to me for free. By the way, most of these I got for free. Uh, yeah, basically. You can find some pretty good posters not even for free for like 5 bucks. At places like um, Disc Replay or places like that. So pick you up some. 
But thanks for watching, if you made it through this whole video. And have a great weekend!